Me, Kier, Dev, Bubble, and Yellow Wolf started a survival world together when the 1.18 update was released. It was supposed to be us, the boys, just chilling, grinding, building houses, and having fun. But you know me, I had something completely different in mind. Now, before we started our adventures in this world, I had to assert some rules. Okay, I want to sit with Kier. I want to sit with Kier. This is my chair, bro. My chair. My chair. When you joined this SMP, you signed a blood pact that your souls what? are now mine. There's no what? going back. Oh, yeah, you get oh, no, wait a minute. Adam, since your Frick souls sake. belong to me, I decide the rules. So far, there's only one rule. You cannot go to the end. One simple rule, what? guys. <laughs> guys, that, that's the contract. Yeah. Everybody signed the contract and uh, you're free to go. After this quick interaction, we all went our separate ways. What I did was just travel like 6,000 blocks away from spawn, stack up, and build myself the starter house. Once I got an efficiency 4 pickaxe, I built myself a simple experience farm on the nether roof. I used that to fully stack up all of my tools and armor, and eventually decked it all out in full netherite. Now I know that was a very quick jump, but that's because I did all of the grinding off camera because that's not what this video is about. This video is about phase 1 of my master plan. Now phase 1 is really simple. I just had to get over 10,000 chests, fill an entire cave with them, and make one of my friends find something hidden in one of the chests this is the cave yep yep this is the cave since the end was on lockdown shulker boxes were nowhere to be found which meant i had to carry an insane amount of logs back to that cave where i would then turn it into chests which is why i wanted to make a bridge from this portal to my main portal so i could carry wood through the nether i can actually just collect wood out of my island because i do have wood yeah let's just start collecting one hour of chopping down wood manually, I realized this was neither efficient nor fun, which are the two main factors I needed in order to complete this plan fast enough. Okay, well, some progress has been made, you know, almost a chest of stacks. Now, this right here is 1,408 logs. I managed to gather that in around one hour, which would mean I would have to spend over 18 hours collecting wood. And I know that doesn't sound like much, but my brain would not be able to take that. And that is why I decided to waste over three hours to build a gunpowder farm. Pause. I completely forgot to explain why I'm building the gunpowder farm. Well, I decided to blow up an entire dark oak forest to gather all of my wood. And in order to do that, I need loads of TNT. This way, it would both be fun and way more efficient than before. And I'm actually super happy that I chose this because this saved me so much time and... <laughs> It was way more fun. But more about that later. Now, let's get back to building the farm. Not gonna lie, I kind of went crazy building this farm in one stream, so it got a little out of hand. I probably can't show 99% of the stream on YouTube because of both copyright issues and TOS. So if you want to check it out for yourself, go over to my Twitch channel and be advised, you might get traumatized. Uh, I finished this farm and it took way too long to build. Literally planned on building this in like an hour or so. But then I realized that in 1.18, the spawning has changed so that mobs only spawn at light level zero, which meant I had to build an entire wall around the, the farm. And in order for that to work, I had to build the wall like 15, 20 blocks out in order for the spiders to not be able to reach it when they fall off the platforms. And this is how much gunpowder we got. So now I just need to go get a lot of sand, turn all of it into TNT, Hey, yo! What the? Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, they're just killing each other now. Wait, I want the skeleton horses. What am I doing? Yeah, I got a skeleton horse now. Let's go.
after getting enough sand to craft a bunch of TNT, I set off to find a dark oak forest that was big enough for me to get over 10,000 logs. And after I found one, I was dedicated to use up all the TNT that I had. And honestly, this was the most satisfying part of this entire project. Bro, you need mental help, honestly. Oh. What? I feel like this is in it. Oh! Oh! Yo! Woodland Mansion? Oh, brother. Uh. There we go. Oh my god. One second. Um, I can get the emeralds as well like this. Yo, another tunnel one dying. Yo, yo, chill, chill, chill. So many of them. This is very bad timing for a woodland mansion, actually. These guys deal a lot of damage. Oh my god, let's make a chest in front here. There we go. There's another. Oh my god, so many. Oh my god. Oh. Uh... Yes, I know I could have played that much better. Yes, I know I could have easily escaped that situation, but here we are with another death on the server. Doesn't matter. I just stopped recording, checked back the video, and got back to my stuff. Is there anything else good in the mansion besides... Oh, is that another evoker? Dev, another totem of undying. Chill out. Four now. After a successful woodland mansion raid without a single death, I continued blowing up the forest, and this is how much wood I got on day two. Yeah, I can't I can't be too loud right now because it's 3 a.m. right now, but we did some work, and this is how much we've already gathered. I probably spent like four hours today just gathering wood. In total, I managed to gather 11,520 logs in around four hours time, which is way more efficient than if we did this by hand. Look at this two three four five and i have way too much string what am i supposed to do with all this string bro <laughs> i just realized that if i actually put in effort to build the infinite automatic wood farm i would probably already have all the wood that i need but that's boring you know at least this way i get to blow up an entire forest you know after i crafted up enough dnt i decided to start up my stream and not end it until i have all of the wood required We gathered 15,552 logs in two hours and 40 minutes, guys. I am proud of us. At first, blowing up trees sounded really fun, but I never want to gather a single log ever again. And the next part of the project is even worse. All these chests are filled with logs now. It took me a while, but the TNT strat did pay off. And now I have to craft all of this into chests. Last chest stack. Yes. We now have 13,824 chests right here in front of us. Now, all we gotta do is place in the 13,824 chests. I wonder if chests lag you when you don't have items in them. Yes, they do. It actually got to the point where I had under 60 FPS and I had to lower my view distance down to two chunks in order to not lag in this game. 
After filling in this main cave with a lava lake, I decided to go to sleep. And the next morning, I felt sick. I felt so sick and my headache was so intense that I couldn't force myself to fill in this cave. So I took like two or three days break and then I finally finished it off. Of course, I did all of this off camera because it was like on and off, on and off. I was chugging tea. I was taking my vitamins. I was trying to get better while also working on this project and I eventually finished it. What I'm planning to do will either go terribly wrong or it's gonna be the best plan I've ever had. Now, this is where the video gets interesting. A couple of weeks ago, I accidentally started a raid over at Mount Kiev, where Kier and Dev currently have their base. Now, I didn't help them defeat the raid, but they somehow managed to capture a Ravager that they currently kept as a pet. It was their most precious possession, and I was planning to hide it. The plan went smoothly, and I had successfully stolen their most prized possession. This is the only type of motivation that would make at least one of them do my puzzle. The second part of this puzzle concerns consists of two books. One of them has the coordinates to where the Ravager is hidden, and the other one is a 40-page book that says sign this book and give it to Boosfer to receive the coordinates to Frank. Now I know what you're thinking. Boosfer, why the hell did you make over 10,000 chests fill in an entire cave just to steal a Ravager and give it right back. Well, if we take a look at page 38, you will see that this book is indeed a contract. A contract that if signed will make you owe me a favor. And that favor is just the beginning. Yo, Kira, I mean, you, you said you wanted to show me your balcony? Yeah, 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 come. It's so... <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's the best area. Where is, where are the hoppers? Where are the hoppers? <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. It's a manual collection system. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, like, uh, why don't you guys have your bit. balcony towards Frank? I want to see Frank. Oh, Frank's over here. Promise you won't do anything? I won't. I won't. I promise. You're friendly, right? Yeah, I'm friendly. I, I promise I won't do anything. Frank is... Wait, wait, wait why did you guys cover it up? Right here. Where? Wait, where? Wait, Where's... what? Where's Frank? Wait, why is the roof open? Do you, like, fly out? You're trolling me. You're actually trolling me. Spit it out now. What? Where's Frank? You want Frank? There's no way you actually took him because I know he didn't despawn. Since I can't kill your most prized possession, I'm, I decided to steal it. But you it did wouldn't it. Be, it wouldn't be fun if I just stole it, right? So uh, none of this is fun. You can get it. There's a way you can get Frank back if you're up for the challenge. Uh, just give him back. Are Why do you I have to willing? do a stupid challenge? Are you willing to what is put your life at mail? risk? Are you willing to put what your life at risk for mail? Frank? Are you willing to well, put your course. life? Oh, okay, then follow me. Why am I getting blackmailed right now? What the hell is this? Come. Wait, why are my frame so bad? Turn Wait, around. what is Here, this? Come Wait, forward. hold on. Come forward. Wait, yeah. Bro, Here. what is actually wrong with you? Welcome to the cave of chests. There are caves beyond this one that are filled with 13,000, over 13,000 chests. There's one chest that has a book and quill. You have to find that chest, sign that book and quill, and give it to me. Once I have that book what? signed, you will get the coordinates to Frank. The coordinates to Frank are right here. You get oh. three hints for the for the for the chess, yeah? Do you want them to be riddles or just straight up hints? Just tell me the hints, bro. I'm not looking okay. through 13,000 chests. There's no chance, bro. Okay. There's no chance. Okay, let's say first hint is bubbles. Second hint is water. What? And third hint is magma. Good luck. Okay, so it's on a magma block with bubbles on it underwater. Let's go! I found it. Okay, where is it? <laughs> Wait, what if, what if you just put it in like one of these first chests? Wait, that, that'd be funny. Why are you looking through this? This is not underwater, nor does it have Then what's the point in placing all of these down? Bro, how long did it take you to do this? I don't want to hear you speak right now. Why are you checking chests? I don't like nothing. you. It has, these chests have nothing I to do I don't with like you. You're not my friend. <laughs> what makes you think... Yeah. After you steal Frank, uh -huh. place down 13,000 uh -huh. chests uh -huh. in a cave, uh -huh. lure me here and blackmail me, uh -huh. what makes you think I believe your hint? Like, actually, like, add those two things Do you want to get Frank or not? I might I might have to put on uh, a 10-minute timer, not gonna lie. What? Okay, okay, okay. After 10 you're minutes, not. I set off the TNT that I have put on Frank. No, 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 no. You said he can't die. You're not actually gonna do that. You're not actually gonna do that. Okay. Like, you're not. Oh, yes, it's in one of these. I know it. What? That's not a water game. It's just a waterfall. <laughs> Like a magma block to you, bro. I don't know where. Oh like... my god. <gasps> yes. Oh my god. There's, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, there's more. Oh, there's this more. Is 
What? Oh, there's the more. Bro. <laughs> there's more. What have you done? Huh? Why are you laughing? <laughs> like, this is a normal thing a human does. All your viewers are just going to think you're a psychopath. No, what do you mean? Wait. Oh. Oh, okay. I just realized. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. The lag is so bad. Why are you oh, killing me? The lag is so bad. I'm go okay, I'm just going to get my strength then. You just mined my thing? Oh, I mined it. That frame's so bad. Bro, oh, I can't. This is so bad. How's your health? Ah. I'm strength, bro. Oh. Yeah. You still want to fight or are you going to continue looking for the book? I'm not. Fight me right now. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even look at my health. I didn't even look at my health. I'm yeah. sorry. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's I'll what I thought. Looking. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. You got like two Bro. minutes left. Oh, this is the biggest chamber. Oh, yeah, baby. He found the biggest chamber. <gasps> Magma? Oh? Yes! Oh! I found it! Okay. Oh, my God! Now, this is where I actually got a little bit nervous because this is the part where Kira has to read through the book and... I'm just hoping that he doesn't notice page 38. Uh, what do I do now? Sign the book and give it to me. Sign this book and give it to Boosfer to find Frank. Sign this book and give it to <laughs> Boosfer to find Frank. Fine. Are you, Sign gonna, this. are you gonna read the entire book? Sign this book and... <laughs> Why are there 40 pages of this? <laughs> if I have to place in 13,000 chests, I might, have, might as well just have a 40 page long book. I'm going through all the... I'm not signing anything without looking through all the pages. I'm okay, sorry. you have five seconds. Five. What?! Four. Three. Wait, there's nothing at the two, end. Okay, I signed it. I signed it. I signed it. Okay, it's train. Oh my god, that's so far. Oh, Kier. Kier! Why would it be you that You missed far? page 38. You know what no, page 38 no, says, Kier? You owe you Boost for one favor, and you can't say <laughs> no. Let's go. Why you, did I come on the server today? What am I doing? To me now. No. Wait, show me the book. Yes. I don't believe you. No, I don't I'm believe not you. showing you the book. Show me. I don't believe you. I'll I'll screen share it to you right now. Look at that. No. <laughs> well, you can't tell uh, Dev about this because if you tell about the uh, Dev about this, he's gonna look at you as a traitor. The plan went smoothly, and thank God Kier didn't notice page 38. And now all that was left to do was help Kier get Frank back. <gasps> No! <laughs> Frank, please, it's me, it's me! Okay, thank God. And move on to phase two. Since we completed this, we can finally check it off and move on to phase two.